Hospitality, everybody. It's your pal Misty. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. It's a fun Friday. We have a tag. G and Nikki are pumping them out again. This one is a Get to Know Me St. Patrick's Day tag. They're actually in Ireland right now. They're from South Africa, but they're in Ireland right now. So I'm really excited to see what they actually are getting to do today, which their days already in tomorrow, but whatever. So I'm doing this tag on St. Patrick's Day because um, they said they make up the rules. And if they make up the rules, then I know they don't mind that I'm doing this. Uh, well, by the time you see it, two days later, but I'm doing this on St. Patrick's Day. Uh-oh. We have little rumblings over here, so hopefully we don't get uh, interrupted. Now, in full transparency, I don't really know anything about St. Patrick's Day, but I feel like there were still several questions that I could answer, and um, that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to be cool like them and just do it live, <laughs> unedited. Um... They normally write down their answers. Y'all did a really good job. They didn't write them down. Uh, so anybody can do this tag. They've tagged everybody. I'll tag anybody that would like to do it. Question number one. How do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Today, by wearing a green shirt and working. I would say by wearing a green shirt most of the time is really all that I do. Because you're supposed to wear green on St. Patrick's Day. I don't really celebrate it. Just I just know that it exists. Question number two. Do you know what St. Patrick got rid of in Ireland? Only because I watched the tag. I thought he brought Christianity, but I don't know. Maybe that's because I'm a Christian and that's the story. I don't know. But Nikki said snakes, so maybe I need to go research that story. I haven't done it yet, but evidently he got rid of snakes. So if you're interested, go look up that story. Question, because I don't know it. Question number three. Have you ever attended a St. Patrick's Day parade? Yes, actually I have. I have done that. Wasn't that St. Patrick's Day? Yeah. We did do that. There was one on 1960. Y'all don't know, some of y'all may know 1960. I live off of a street in Houston. It's called 1960. It's a farm to market road, which makes it sound like a little tiny road, but there's four lanes on each side in some parts of the road. And it's like a highway. It speed limit's 55, but there's also a ton of stoplights, and it's uh, it's so long. Anyway, I live on 1960, and they have a parade. They must not have done it this year because of everything. But yeah, I have actually been to a St. Patrick's Day parade. Uh oh. Do we need to pause? I think we're okay. We'll see. But yeah, who knew? I have been to one. I kind of forgot I had been to one. I went with Amy, my best friend Amy, and other friends too. Um, all right, question number, <clears throat> excuse me, question number four, what is your favorite St. Patrick's Day memory? Well, now I'm going to have to say the parade because I forgot that existed, but any time with my best friend Amy and other friends is a good time, so I'm going to have to say the St. Patrick's Day parade. I've gone twice. One of them was a real good time for me because I wasn't driving. So we'll say that's the better memory. I got to celebrate. Uh, but I don't want to get too far ahead because I know some of the questions. Question number five. Have you ever been a part of a St. Patrick's Day parade? No. I've been a part of a bunch of different types of parades. But St. Patrick's Day is not one of the... I didn't even know they had parades for St. Patrick's Day until I went to this one in Houston. So, question number... Uh-oh. Six. What do you wear on St. Patrick's Day? Something green so I don't get pinched? Are there special clothes that you're supposed... Is there something you're supposed to wear? Other than green? It's just green, right? Like that's the big thing? I mean, I don't know. Gee, I was here for the beard. I don't want one, but I, lo <laughs> I love the beard. You'll have to go watch their video to know what I'm talking about. Uh, question number seven. Do you have any Irish blood? I don't think so, but I suppose it's a possibility. But I don't, I, we, I, to my, I don't know. I don't know. That's the only way I can answer that question is I do not know. Question number eight. Do you believe in the luck of the Irish? 
I've heard of the luck of the Irish. I would need to ask someone who's in, who's Irish, if, if they if they're luck. I don't I don't really know. <laughs> what is the luck of the Irish? Sure, I think everybody has luck. I mean, it's do you really have luck though? Let's not get into that. I, but sure, <laughs> I feel like that's a lie. No, I don't believe in the luck of the Irish. Maybe we'll get into all that later. Who knows? Question number nine. Do you believe in leprechauns? I mean, for real, no. I don't believe in leprechauns. But that's also because, it, from my understanding, is they're mythical creatures. and they're, So they're mythical. Is there a story behind a leprechaun that makes people think they're real? It, how is that connected to St. Patrick's Day? Does anybody know? Maybe I should research this holiday a little bit because I don't know anything about it. But I, I'm going to have to go with a, a yes, this house believes in Santa because I understand that. And no, it does not believe in leprechauns because I don't know why I would. If you want to convince me, convince me. I'm all for a conversation down there in the comments. <laughs> uh, question number 10. Do you believe there is a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow? I love a rainbow. Y'all know Misty loves a rainbow. Uh, no, I don't think there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow because I know how rainbows work. I feel like I'm being very negative, but I'm really not. It's just, no. I don't think there's a pot of gold. It's still a fun question. Do I want there to be a pot of gold? Yeah, because I get excited when I see a rainbow. And I would get excited if I saw gold. I think I wouldn't take it though. It's not mine. See, that's the thing. Like, would it be exciting to find a pot of gold? Yeah, I'd turn it into the police. Like, I'm just karma is a thing that I believe in. No, I don't think there's gold at the end of a rainbow. Um, <clears throat> what is your favorite Irish saying? Oh, I don't know any Irish sayings. Um, I feel like all I know is the Lucky Charms leprechaun. Which, I mean, I guess technically he's real, but he's a cartoon. Don't come for me. We're not going there again. Uh, my f your favorite Irish saying? What do Irish people say? Do they say hi? I doubt they say howdy. Um... I don't have one. I don't know what they say. I'm sorry, Nikki. For, just forgive me, everybody. I don't know. What do Irish people say? Somebody if, somebody, give me a good Irish phrase down below. There's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but do they say that there? I feel like they probably don't. I have the luck of the Irish. Maybe they say that if they, if they believe in it. Uh, question, I'm just going to have to move on. Question number 12. What is your favorite movie with an Irish actor or actress in it? I don't know who's Irish. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. I don't know where people are from. I don't know. I've, I'm going to have to, I, I don't, I, who's Irish? I'm so bad at that. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, people can do accents. So, I don't know where you're from. Well, I mean, y'all like it here because you all speak how you actually speak. But, like, who, who's somebody I can think? Tom Holland. Tom Holland does not have, he has an American accent that he puts on. That's not how he talks. And the first time I heard him talking, I was like, what happened to Spider-Man? <laughs> Why is he talking? <laughs> what is going So, I don't know who's Irish. Skip. Oh no, I'm gonna have to pay for this somehow, but I don't know how yet. Uh, question number 13. Have you ever had a Guinness? I have, and it's dark and it's thick, and I already don't like beer. There are different types of Guinness. There's like a Guinness Light, um, which actually, you know what, actually it's not bad. It's just, it's thick and it's dark and it's almost cold coffee like and I don't like coffee either so have I have I ever had a Guinness yes <clears throat> did I like it mm -mm. but that's not really saying anything about them again I don't like beer question number 14 
Will would have you drink drunk green beer. <laughs> oh, ha have you or would you drink green beer on St. Patrick's Day? Uh, yes, I have. So that means that I would because I did. And that was, I, I don't like beer and it wasn't good. It was like a Budweiser or something with green food coloring. So it just was still beer. But the other drinks I had were really good. And some of them were green. They had Midori in it. Midori's like a honeydew liqueur. Honeydew's so good. I miss fruit. Okay. Um, I have no idea where we were. Question number 15. What are your thoughts on a four-leaf clover? I think that they exist. And I know this because I have found them. We used to have clovers in our front yard. And I would just sit there and relax and look for four-leaf clovers. I have found very few, but I have found some. Do I think they're lucky? Again, it took dedication and patience to be lucky. So... Those are my thoughts. I used to spend hours a day. We're not gonna answer that right now. Um, I used to spend hours a day looking for four leaf clovers. That's my thoughts on it. Question number 16, have you or will you kiss the Blarney Stone? Okay, Nikki said that I needed to kiss the Blarney Stone because it helps you with the gift of gab. And if y'all haven't met me yet, I don't know that I need any help with that. Do y'all want me more gifted in the gift of gab? I don't know, I don't think so. And evidently you have to hang upside down and then kiss some rock. I, I'm gonna look into it, but, and who knows, I'm down to do lots of things that aren't illegal. Uh, so, would I do it? Yeah, I probably would. Why not? That's a fun story. Um, so, yeah, I would do it. When I come visit y'all, we'll go find it and we'll kiss it, Nikki, okay? Okay. Question number 17. Have you ever visited or plan to visit, I visit Ireland? No, but I could. Not right now, right now, but later, later. And if I could, I'll make sure I visit G and Nikki and we'll go kiss the Blarney Stone. I actually, I think it looks beautiful. So, I would love to go see it because it looks like a beautiful country. Question number 18. Do you know why you must wear green on St. Patrick's Day? Because you, you're supposed to wear green? Because it's St. Patrick's? So It's so you don't get pinched. But why do you get pinched if you don't wear green? Because of the rules? I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know. Why must you wear green on St. Patrick's Day? So you don't get pinched. But why do we pinch people if they're not wearing green? Does anybody know? Comment down below. Let me know. Question number... So I don't... I think... No, I don't know why. <laughs> it's going to have to be my answer. Uh, question number 19. Do you think you would be able to eat only green food for 24 hours? Oh, heck yeah, I could. I love green beans we just talked about oh that you know what i think nikki said she'd know one of my question answers that must be that yeah i could talk i could just eat green beans for the day but there's lots of good food that's green i like it i like green beans i like brussels sprouts i like salad look let's not talk about greens right now people we're doing ketovore and we're trying to stay away from them veggies we don't need no greens but could i do it for a day sure absolutely yeah for a day question number 20 the last question would you rather all right would I rather eat only Lucky Charms or green jello for a day? Oh, Lucky Charms. I'm just spit. Did y'all see me spit? I'm sorry, that was rude. Uh, Lucky Charms, for one reason, I hate jello. I can't. Y'all already know. Y'all may not know. If you don't know, say hello to Barnum. Hello, Barnum. Uh, if you don't know, I cannot handle the texture of Jello. I want to like it. It's such a good keto treat. You get some sugar-free Jello. You put in some sugar-free whipped cream. You mix it all together. It looks so good. I'm afraid I'm going to vomit if I ever try to make that go down my mouth. It's so it just slides down your throat and jiggles, and it shouldn't do any of those things. Um, so hard pass on Jello for a day. I would rather eat nothing. So, that's it. That's my tag. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope it still fits in. I know it counts the rules because they said they was making up the rules. Um, 
Barnum needs some loving time. It's to get. It's a. It's in the evening. Um, so Barnum needs some loving time. Hopefully it'll be. Uh, we're not even going to talk about that right now. But thank you all for stopping by. Um, we're still gaining subscribers, and I appreciate the support. I love that y'all come and comment down below. So comment down below if you know any of those answers that I asked, or if you want to answer any of the questions, or just have comments, or you know, follow up. I don't know. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Subscribe if you know how. And I'm going to go love on this little man right here. Until next time. Oh, he almost got me. Oh, he almost got me. I'll see you real soon.